That means you can't have a radical group running around and creating creating scenes in your in your town. Well, no, not if it's going to not if it's going to put place some other folks in danger that yeah. are working on something that's that yeah. they've got ongoing yeah. that's real and, and and maybe they've got a that's a bunch that's of people right. out on a peace fleet and it's vulnerable if if they blow something up. Or I mean, I'm not saying that people do that. We're totally oh, yeah, beast. Man. That's but, the but, problem. but if if people don't understand these guidelines and stuff, then people yeah. are free to imagine what they might be, you know. Yeah. Um, so so in a, you don't want extreme cases of people just doing what they feel well, like. You can't have somebody come into town and pie somebody. Pieing is not violent, by the way. Well, <laughs> there might be there might be times when when, when that might fit into. Uh, I doubt that would fit into the Rainbow Peace Project thing. But at some it point, might. it might. We, um, I used to do things with, Jokes, with the man. yippies, where we and at one time. So yeah, now I'm a, I'm a physics student again, and I study a, a nuclear particle physics at MIT. But at one one point, I invaded a, a physics conference at MIT with a bunch of yippies and kids and balloons and and kites and all uh, all kinds of strange things, and we just grabbed, uh, kept them from getting much done for about an hour when we took over their space, and they didn't have it wasn't violent in any way, but it, it was a, a statement sort of, and um, it didn't hurt anything. Uh, you know, and and I can see that there might be. A, a, that was, it was actually an appropriate action. It's not the kind of thing you would do all the time. No, well, and it's it something that should be done more. Well, it wasn't a particularly a bad physics conference or anything. There are a lot of things that I would like to disrupt in that manner, yeah. including arms negotiations and planning for war yeah. and stuff like that. But they but, shoot you. But 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 this was <laughs> this was an easy example, and that yeah. was in seventy one yeah. or something. So you know, what's you know. the next one? Okay, so the next one is um, number seven. We will, we will each try to share any information we receive so that we can encourage support by anybody who may be interested in taking part, providing assistance, etc. And if within our means, uh, we will further copy and distribute any materials beneficial to Rainbow Peace Projects International or any single project involved with them. Um, we will do, number nine, we will do whatever we can to correspond and communicate with other projects so that we can establish personal friendships, relationships, and relationships. Encourage cross-visiting and mutual assistance, find common projects that we can work upon together, etc. Uh -huh. So you know, they're stressing this kind of thing because uh, uh, well, this, this especially right involves a lot of people in Eastern Europe and Russia and yeah. all over the world, and we want yeah. to link movements, and, and, and it's yeah. very strong over there, and they feel a real sense of commitment. Is Rainbow now. very strong and, here? Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll get to look at okay. that in a minute. Okay. Number 10, Rainbow Peace Projects should make every effort we can to assist any positive alternative effort toward achieving peace and ecologically sound living so as to further a worldwide mutual assistance network between all peoples, groups, movements, and projects. Number 11, each project should assist in sponsoring Rainbow Priest Project, Project International related events, benefits, gatherings, media sources, etc. Number 12, each Rainbow Peace Project should submit regular articles, reports, etc. to the Rainbow Peace Project International newsletter so that we are all kept up to date on all that's going on within the overall networks. And that each project should assist in funding our newsletter as our common voice, from which we all benefit. Number 13, each project should do whatever they can to prepare for the arrivals of the Rainbow Peace fleets and caravans in their regions and whenever appropriate. That Rainbow Peace villages host the fleets and caravans, folks, and offer help uh, to create presentations of viable positive alternatives that the fleets and or caravan projects uh, may not already be carrying aboard so that they can fur be further shared with all folks en route. Now, what's a fleet? Well, the fleet is, is a, a, a group of, it's, it's both an organization, the Rainbow Peace Fleet, uh, which, which organizes and, uh, is this and arranges. Is the Rainbow Warrior? That was no, the Rainbow Warrior is part of it's the Safe Seas Campaign of Greenpeace. Okay. It's a flagship it has of the Greenpeace. To do with Greenpeace. Well, a lot of the same, a lot of people are involved in, 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 in both efforts, and at some point we might get some Greenpeace people in support, our, our, our support, okay. some, some, okay. of the, some of the same ships involved, but well, officially it is, is completely different. Yeah, this is the Rainbow Peace Fleet, which organizes groups of people. One of the, one of the uh, last things they did last summer, they did a Save the Baltic campaign in which they sent a fleet of what? volunteer ships, uh, ships, ships and vessels to the Baltic to uh, to do ecological actions, to clean up, to raise people's awareness. And how many, how many, how many actually went on that? Yeah. Oh, well, that comes uh, up later. Okay. Some of that comes up that's later. Some a, of that's in another. It's actual yeah. boats, though. We're not. Oh yes, yes. We're not talking about their caravans that run around. And no, there, there are, there are, there are care there are rainbow caravans that are uh, separate from any other affiliation. They're not the there are rainbow, there are rainbow um, uh, 
chair events that are sort of uh, associated with the rainbow gathering in the, in North America, and there are rainbow care events that are worldwide that are associated with Rainbow Peace Projects International that do various different things depending on what they are. Generally, they're all f following these sorts of, 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 of guidelines and suggestions of working to further world okay. peace and for sound ecological action. My question, and my question people was, was, um, was directly on fleet is actually boats. The fleet is uh, both an organization uh, 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 that, that uh, uh, communicates and organizes the, the effort and an actual set of boats. Actual boats. At, at, yeah, and, and ships. And, and, and okay. there, are, there are some that are part-time. There, like, there are some that come and go. There mm -hmm. are some that are ongoing. There are a lot okay. of different, different that's, that was the that Some was of the these question. boats are, are part of Rainbow Peace Centers, Rainbow Peace uh, affiliated villages, Rainbow Peace Peace okay. villages, well, also uh, projects. Some are 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 are, 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 are support from sort of semi-separate organizations that are also. Is there involved. a fleet in the United States? Uh, there is uh, uh, the Rainbow Peace Fleet is sort of organized out of the United States, and there are, are the fleet uh, is there in, are the fleet is based here and sent to these places. The fleet, fleet is based in different places, in different places, including the United States. It, at okay. any given time, it's hard. To, I, I haven't really been keeping up on all this. Okay, I, lately. He, he, I, I can find out. I the just wanted, I just wonder. Uh, as he says, after a while, if we went on the full details of all of this, uh, if we could go on for pages, hours, and stuff. Go uh, and I'm not going to through with all the guidelines. Yet. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so. That's, we're still on number 13, I'll go back over. Each project should do whatever they can to prepare for the arrival or arrivals of the Rainbow Peace Fleet or Peace Fleets. See, it's, it's uh -huh. both. Okay. And caravan or caravans. Okay. So you have different times, and there so may be one or multiple caravans. So we got the caravans and the... And the in their regions, and whenever they op that, whenever appropriate, appropriate that Rainbow Peace Villages host the fleet or fleets and caravan or caravans, or both uh -huh. folks, yeah. or folks from them. Yeah. Uh, and, and offer to help, to help create presentations of viable positive alternatives that the fleet or fleets and caravan or caravans uh, or Rainbow Peace projects may not already be carrying a, a, a board so that, that they can be further shared with all folks in route. God, let's so take a trip around be, the world and we'll take, uh, this, we'll take the camera and we'll go, we'll go shoot all these fucking things. Uh -huh, and we, we can, we can, we can uh, if, if we plug in and know what's going on here, we can, we can arrange our itinerary with uh, various things that are going on, right. ecological and, and anti-war we'll peaceful things degree and let's get with the Rainbow Peace Fleet and, and with various caravans. Yeah. That we can, uh, it's, that sounds reasonable. We'll have to find out more about all of it, but sure, it, it, it looks like it's going to be a viable possibility. Uh, so number 14, Rainbow Peace Fleets and Rainbow uh, Peace Caravans should offer, in turn, to assist any Rainbow Peace Villages or communities, alternative communities. They visit by helping them, them to get projects started that will benefit their communities. Since Rainbow Peace Fleets and Rainbow Peace Caravans will be, will be carrying many valuable, va viable positive alternatives. That Rainbow Peace Villages may not, individual Rainbow Peace Villages Why does may not this be aware sound of. so much like the Mason? <laughs> Why does it? Why does it sound so much like the like the Elks or the? Well, in, Why does it? In, in a way, it's it's all founded on the sort of the idea that uh, uh, Jacques de Molay and the Knights Templars put together the as an al as an alternative and underground group to preserve the, the continuation of knowledge and. And individual uh, individuals banded together for their common good against the the power mad king of, of France and the anti pope who were then attempting to control all the power in the world. This was right after the Crusades, and uh, a whole a whole change was coming on. But most of the world was owned, still owned by feudal lords, and most of them so this is were subservient to the okay. king of France. And, 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 and this was in the early uh, we see 1400s. The continuation of that today, the same. That that evolved into the Masons, and that's not case. exactly what the Masons. On the on the surface is alike today, but that's why it sounds. Uh, but that's what of. the Masons are. And I was in the Dimale, and well, that's what their you tradition were in is. You in Yeah, that, and, oh. and I, I go over that in my letter, letter to Clinton. Uh, okay. Um, okay. And I also well, mentioned mentioned some of it in, what, in my letter, in my original letter to him, which maybe I can. So read this is what this, uh, this organization is. You have this this tribal family routine. Strangely yeah. enough, it comes out of some of the, of the the same. first the highest tradition of of, of, of uh, the, the, the real Calvinist. tradition of Camelot, but it was actually the tradition <laughs> of the Crusades. Yeah. Of, of, of banded together as much against the, uh, they actually made friends with the Saracens, the people that they were originally fighting, and brought.